Hi, Pisces. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. And we can get a sense of the energies and messages for you in May so that you can plan accordingly and um, navigate what may come your way. Okay, so we have the sun, a beautiful card. We have the queen of pentacles and we have the knight of swords. So the sun, we see this young couple here. They're out in the fields and they're looking up at the glowing, beautiful sun. And the sun is such a lovely, uh, to me it's a transformative card because it really does um, speak to the truth of uh, putting yourself in the light and letting the light, light soak into you. And what does that do? That invigorates you. It makes you feel alive. It makes you feel happy. Um, the, the sun is our life force. It's about radiance. It's about confidence. It's about movement and doing things because the sun is shining down on us, glowing, and we are benefiting from that beautiful, those beautiful sun rays. So with the sun, whether you are uh, simply feeling good about life, having fun, feeling carefree. You know, there's also this sense of, of finding enlightenment within yourself, of uh, uh, letting your light shine to others and as you enjoy it too. So, you know, I think that the sun is, um, it's inspiring. It inspires us to be creative. It inspires us to be playful. It inspires us to be outside with nature and to appreciate the abundance that is in nature and, you know, in, in forests, streams and everything. So uh, it's, it's really a lovely message, which is to uh, enjoy the life force that's being given to you soak up the sun, use it to feel confident, use it to feel happy, good health. You know, vitamin D is good for us. A little bit of sunlight is a good thing, but too much maybe. We have some protection, <laughs> some sunscreen, but allow the, the sun to fill you up and to inspire you to be creative, to be active, to be energized, because that's what it's telling us to do, is to be energized. So then with the energy, here's the queen of pentacles and this queen of pentacles is lovely. And she looks like she's in her courtyard or her backyard and she's holding her pentacle. And again, this queen knows how to enjoy the comforts of her life. She is successful. She can multitask, she's kind and nurturing and very loving and is often wanting to help others. So, the Queen of Pentacles is pragmatic, she's smart, and she's resourceful. Saturday may be a day for you to be resourceful. It may be a day for you to pick up around the house, to move furniture, to plant a garden, to do something, and to um, you know improve the beauty within your own life and the comfort within your own life. Whether that is uh, spending time with your family, a picnic, or some event or perhaps there's a community activity but you know the queen she can really do it all and she is uh, a solid um, dependable kind of energy loving and would be there for you in a heartbeat if you needed it so uh, take that for what it is which is perhaps beautifying your home reaching out to someone who may be in need and then finally, we have the Knight of Swords. So this Knight of Swords illustration is quite interesting. The, the horse is really riding right to us. He has his full um, headgear on, so we can't see his face. And he has his sword right up in the air. And he's in stride, and it looks like it's a cloudy, gloomy. He's coming out of the gloom. So with the Knight of Swords, I feel like the Knight of Swords is someone who uh, goes to a situation and 
uh, brings all of his skills, which is re uh, reasonable and rational thinking, logical thinking, but also there's the truth, seeking the truth, seeking the fairness in a situation, you know, perhaps defending, defending your beliefs, defending someone else's beliefs, but this is a matter of not shying away on Saturday, but perhaps meeting something head on getting involved, speaking your piece, saying your opinion, having faith in your opinion. It could very well be um, uh, decision-making or really uh, telling it like it is. You know, with those blades and the swords are sharp and they can uh, slice through a lot of garbage and nonsense within your life, they can also be used to, um, to inflict could be bluntness, it could be just speaking your mind, being very honest. This Knight of Swords, like he's just coming out, looks like he's, uh, he knows full well that he may have some rough weather, but he's still gonna be riding hard right into it. Speaks to confidence as well in your own abilities to, to do so. To speak the truth, to make good decisions, to get involved. So that's how I see this Knight of Swords in this particular, in the Thelema deck. So an interesting reading for Saturday because we have this very homespun, um, practical energy with the Queen of Pentacles, talented, resourceful. We have the energy and the brilliance of the sun radiating below and yet we have this, uh, this gloomy night ready for whatever is coming his way and moving toward whatever situation. Perhaps to bring truth and to bring um, some reason or some logic to a situation or to protect or defend someone. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have, the sun is the 19th card. We have 19, 20, 21, and that reduces to three. Three is about communications, expression, it's about um, group activities. Hmm. And also let's close the reading and have an oracle card, get a little more information. Denial. I, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Hmm, interesting. Denying our fears, just maybe blindfolding ourselves. It reminds me of sometimes of the Eight of Swords, of not wanting to make decisions, not wanting to move forward. But once you can own it and take that ownership of your fears, of your concerns, of your doubts, then again, it helps you evolve, it helps you grow as a person. And to be aware is to be uh, really on a path of success, to be self-aware of, um, uh, of your actions, of your beliefs, of your hopes, to really understand yourself. And you know, I'd all, I'll always say that it's the journey of using, tower, of using tarot, excuse me, for um, self-empowerment, which is to find truth and to find um, information about your life on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, however you use it. But it is for self-awareness. So I hope that you have a one and that it is uh, brilliantly full of sun for you, wherever you may be. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a easy way to show support and to stay connected with this lovely community. And like, share, or comment as well. And I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Bye-bye.